Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for Confessions of a Paper Addict Design Team Layout. Now for this layout I'm working with the super cute cut file called Sandcastle and I decided not to completely back this cut file. Because of the paper that I am choosing to use, which is an Amy Tangerine paper, it is that beautiful yellow, um, almost like notebook paper style um, lines across it and then it's got that gorgeous little feature of a slightly change of yellow pattern and color down in the corner but I'm going to lay my cut file across that line that diagonal line to sort of show the sand differentiation there and then it automatically backs my cut file in yellow as it is I did back the little flags and I also backed the door hole and the starfish and there's another little door i'm going to attach in a moment as well but otherwise i have just glued my cut file flat down on the page now i am using a whole bunch of puffy stickers for this layout um, this collection i don't really have very many embellishments so i am literally just using the one puffy sticker pack and a cut apart sheet to see what i can create so I am popping all these little bits on together. There's my last little piece of the cut file. I've gone ahead and stuck my photo up on foam and added a little bit of glue to those foam dots. And now I'm gonna layer those up together. I do try and um, date my photos straight away. So regardless of when I am creating my layout I don't have to hunt back for the date and you could see there that I did add that date to the back of my layout straight away <laughs> before I glue my photos on I have absolutely forgotten to do this before and then had to peek underneath my photos to find out what the date was so I try my best to put my dates on the back of my layouts as soon as I can I did sneak those gorgeous stickers from Coco Vanilla Studios' Sun Kissed collection, and it just simply says Sun's Out, uh, which obviously works really well with this layout. This layout was created in late November, so not even quite summer yet here in Australia, but one of our first beautiful beach days that was worth heading on down to the beach with the boys. It was actually a Monday. I know exactly what day this was because we were halfway to the beach and I got a phone call from Jack's new prep school saying, um, have you forgotten that you have your prep appointment today? And I said, why, yes, yes, I have forgotten. And I had to turn around and race back to his school to do his prep appointment. Great start to the year, I say. Anyway, we resolved that. All's well that ends well, and we are continuing on. So, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier, I am only working with the puffy stickers and the cut apart sheet. So those super cute little thongs or flip flops, I fussy cut off the cut apart sheet, but all the rest so far are um, puffy stickers. Then this cute one that I'm sticking on now, that is also fussy cut off the cut apart sheet as well sand s s sea sun sand is what it says sorry um which is super fun and just works really well with my gorgeous photos of my little man having a blast building sand castles at the beach he has been to the beach before but it was the cutest thing he was just telling me over and over again how much fun he was having and that it was his first time ever being at the beach so that just goes to show that he's not remembered me taking him ever before so just super super cute so I will take this moment to remind you to check out my description box down below here because I have got a link directly to this Copa cut file, Sandcastles cut file, but I also have a link to the Etsy shop, which is over a thousand cut files in it. It's just amazing. Don't forget there'll be 10 more cut files being released in March and it is the birthday month. So keep a lookout for special birthday things happening next month. As well as there is also a link down below to the Confessions of a Paper Addict Facebook group, which is where you will find fabulous layouts shared by multiple 
people. It is just a beautiful, beautiful community um, where people share heaps of different layouts that they have created with and without cut files. But it is also the place where you will find the free cut file of the month. So I definitely recommend joining up to that Facebook group just so you can suss out all the important things that are happening. You get all of the sales and all of the links early. So it's definitely worth being a part of that group. I hope you have enjoyed watching this process video and I cannot wait to share another one with you next month. Thanks everyone. And I will see you next time.